is Sarah Queen's Monitor, where I do predictions of the future. If you'd like me to do a prediction for you, let me know in the chat or the comment section later on. But uh, just get it out there. So we have a wonderful show for today. Uh, just a reminder that all of our show times and all that wonderful stuff is at secreensbyandre.com. So you know when, where, how, and all that other stuff uh, for your viewing pleasure. And of course, uh, anything for sale from us has always been on our website. So just an FYI, if there's, there's other people out there pretending to be me. So <clears throat> if it's not on the website... It's not us, <laughs> okay? Just a little bit of a reminder for everybody out there. Let's get started with today's show. ETH. Let's let's have a look at ETH. <laughs> uh, it was uh, <clears throat> my, my AI programs that I use. I say, eh, do something on ETH. It's been a while. So let's get into the Ethereum uh, price for the next little while. I know the market went down a little bit. It went down almost 50% uh, the last couple of days because of things flying in the air and smashing into other things. Uh, we got to be careful what we say here. Um, and of course, it's already starting to recover. It went uh, in Canadian price, it went down to almost 80,000. And now it's kind of creeping back up to that $89,000, $90,000 mark. Uh, in the beginning of the drop, it was about 96000 So I called it. Okay. So, but let's get into the Ethereum. What is it going to be looking like for 2024 and the 2025 and onward? <clears throat> It's one, it, Ethereum is one that we're starting to stack up a little bit more because we're anticipating the ETF coming up uh, in about a year and a bit, uh, depending on how many lawyers that Gary Gensler needs to meet in person uh, through the whole process. It never happens like that, of course. Uh, it gives uh, BlackRock and the rest of the uh, big money to buy up as much Ethereum as they can get their hands on at a good price. And that's the, the key thing is you're looking for sales. I know everybody turns their minds around and when the market is down, oh, no, everything's on sale. <laughs> you got to get in there like the wife. Oh, uh, bags are on sale. Better buy up a bunch. That's how you got to think about it, right? So let's have a look at ETH for the next little while. Oh, some beautiful cards here for Ethereum. Uh, we got the Temperance for the next little while, I think. Uh, and this is the entire market. You're going to have to have an even hand. You're going to have to be nice and cool, right? Don't get excited, <laughs> okay? And it's going to be the right mixture of things going on with the um, Ethereum blockchain and all that sort of thing. It's going to be a pretty good price. The health is going to be pretty good. And we got the world card. Ooh, ooh, ooh. This is for the price. This is for the big money. This is uh, one, uh, one of the best cards to have in this position, meaning it's the chosen one. There's many other cryptocurrencies that claim that they're better than Ethereum. They're going to be the Ethereum killer and Every time I hear that, it just makes me go, whatever. It is always, it's already been chosen, Ethereum, to be the coin, okay, for what it does. It's that uh, uh, contract uh, giant uh, crypto that is going to be taking everything into the future. It is part of the bigger plan that's behind the scenes that we've known about for quite some time, uh, that the new financial market is going to be based on Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, which is a weird one to have in there, but it is. Um, Bitcoin Cash, Chainlink, and XRP, and probably a couple other one, little ones in there as well. Uh, chain link. Uh, we do have a question for that as well. Uh, 
but yeah, ETH is going to do really, really well. And I do see it going up to five, six thousand dollars by the end of this little tragedy. I think there's going to be another little tragedy that's going to be happening in the next little while. So hopefully you got some cash on hand for the, all those low bargain basement sales. That's how you got to think about it. Okay. Uh, just when everything goes down, bye, bye, bye. Because it's on sale. Ethereum is going to do very, very well. There's going to be a couple little things that are going to be happening to the um, Ethereum programming and all that. The, I think uh, I did a prediction on that not that long ago that there's going to be some weird thing that happens with the programming that's going to make people go, eh, we'll get through that. They will get through that. Uh, Mr. I don't have my Vitalik keychain here <laughs> uh it'll be fine i think we're going to get to that five six thousand dollars seven thousand by the end of 2024 no problem with that so start stacking your eth and your bitcoin as it's going to be a wonderful ride for the next little while let's look at the next thing i only had a few things on my uh pre-questions uh, of course, we have the crash crypto and stock market. That's going to be happening in the next little while. Probably Monday, uh, which is tomorrow for us. Uh, I think we're going to see some downward trends with the stock market and maybe a little bit with the crypto. Not too much. It, it's going to be a great time for crypto holders to be buying up some cryptocurrencies at cheap prices at that point moment in time because of things flying in the air hitting other objects and stuff we we talked about it yesterday's show uh i tried not to get too much into that on our uh youtube because youtube will go mm -mm -mm. but let's have a look at the overall crypto market and the stock market for the next little while i just had this great feeling that there is going to be some bargain basement deals coming up so hopefully you got a whole bunch of bags that you can fill and then you run out of the store go whoo got some pretty cheap prices um hmm. top one is this uh, crypto market it's going to be doing okay it's going to be holding its own i did make the prediction a long time ago that the both the crypto and the stock market will go bleh during the summertime and then uh the cryptocurrency market where it's going to go uh, recover quicker than the stock market and you have to just imagine that the cryptocurrency market is like a little race car mm -hmm. It, it, it can change direction in a very quick way. So when it goes down, and we're going to see it go back up on the Monday, Tuesday, that sort of thing, it's very, very quick, right? The stock market, on the other hand, is like a freight train. <laughs> it takes a long freaking time for it to do its movements, right? The train's moving down. And it's going to have to do this. And then it'll slowly go back up, as it always does. That's why it takes about seven, six to seven years on average for the market to recover in a big way, after a big dump, right? Uh, traditionally, because it's like a big train that needs to... And uh, the, the end of the train doesn't know that they're in a crash from the beginning of the train until it, it, it does this long swoop. That's why when, every, when anything happens in the regular stock market, <clears throat> it takes about six to 12 months for the end of the, the other end of the train to realize that something has happened, okay? Um, and it's usually six to 12 months after some scenario that goes on that we figure something's wrong to the naked eye and that's usually when the news picks it up it's always too late right so 
for the uh, stock market, I think it's going to be holding okay for the Monday and all that sort of thing. I don't think it's going to be, this will be the beginning of the train going down. Okay. Remember what I said about the long train? It's going to take a while. So it might take two to three months until the end of the train figures out that there's something wrong. Okay. So for the meantime, I think it's going to be doing okay. You're going to have a nice time to lick your ice cream in the stock market right now. Because by the summertime, I think it's the end of the trade is going to realize that something's wrong. And then you got to get all the news and all that sort of thing. Uh, something's wrong with the stock market. Mm. And, and usually by then, it's always too late. Um, and then in the stock market, it's going to be nice and quick. So we're already seeing some recovery in the stock market, or not the uh, the uh, cryptocurrency market already. It's, and I, we got other players in there. So now that the Bitcoin is at nice low prices, guess who's buying? That's be the BlackRock, the Fidelity, and all. And they're gonna go. Thank you for the cheap crypto. Hopefully, you learned the lesson. <laughs> I've said it over and over and over and over again. Don't sell. And when it dips or when it sits, that's when you buy. Okay, let's get into the next thing. Which is coffee drinking time because it's time for the chat. Have we reached the bottom of the Ethereum? Is it up and beyond? Yeah, I think we're at pretty much to the end of... I think cryptocurrency markets are going to be going a little bit lower and all that sort of thing. I think we're going to have another little bit of a dip in the next little while. But markets are already starting to recover. Because um, you know who is buying up all the cheap bargain basement cryptos. Hopefully you're doing the same thing. Never worry that Ethereum is done. It's never going to be done. Okay? It's here to stay. Just hold the line. When it goes down, buy. Not, not financial advice. Of course, you do what you want to do. But when it dips, when it sits, that's when you buy. When everybody's crying, you're buying. Right? So you have to think of it in that way. Okay, do it like uh, the sale at the Safeway. Oh, drumsticks are on sale. I better buy a couple. Yeah, if you go shopping with my wife, she'll she scans the meat. <laughs> Ooh, that's a good price. Yoink! Right? I don't even have to. <laughs> she she may look at me and go, "Should we get?" No, she's she just yep. Puts it in the cart. That's how you got to be with your cryptocurrencies. Oh, Ethereum's at a good price. Yeah, oh, good. Put it in the cart. That's how you got to think. Okay? Have that shopping deal, shopping mentality. Okay? Uh, people always do the opposite for whatever reason when it comes to the stock market or the crypto market. Okay, let's throw some cards down a little bit more for Ethereum. Are we going to hit some more sales? I think there's going to be a small one in the June, July, that sort of thing. And, but it's going to be bopping around. There's going to be some other incident that's going to be happening in that period of time, June, July. That's going to be bringing the um, sale as it were. And this is all planned from big shoppers. <laughs> you have to remember that the big money wants the good prices as well. And that's how they got rich. Hopefully you follow along. Let's get into the next thing. <clears throat> Nick, hi, Andre. Will Bitcoin and the rest of the market continue dropping this coming week? Probably a little bit, but it's, I think it's already on the recovery. As I've always said, already said, 
<laughs> when you sell your crypto at an expensive or cheap price, somebody there is going to buy it. And that's BlackRock. Don't sell your Bitcoin to BlackRock. For heaven's sakes. That's when we're buying, too. Okay? Hopefully that answers your question. Just got to peter out by the end of the week. Okay? Thank you for that question. Do you believe that link will go lower? Yeah. <laughs> yeah. I, I, I was kind of anticipating well, everybody's going to ask these questions today. <clears throat> um, about the stock, the, the, the cryptocurrency market sale for everybody. This is the time when you should be cheering. Yeah. I can buy some cheap crypto. All right. Yeah, it's going to drop. It's going to go down a little bit more, but it's going to be picking up by the end of the week. And then it's going to be bouncing around for the maybe going a little bit sideways for another month or so. And then we got the the, uh, the week, and then we got the happening, and a little after the happening, it'll poof. And all the people that sold didn't fill their grocery basket full of their favorite cryptos at cheap prices. I got to because it's going to go parabolic in about a month or two. It's usually what always happens. Okay? So pick some up at a cheap price. Fill your basket. Okay. What do we got next? Hi, Andre. You're always on time. I try to be. Nice to see you. Nice to see you, too. I'm very punctual type person. The wife hates it sometimes. <laughs> uh, or or my, my best friend, who's not punctual, he hates it. <laughs> I said 5.30. It's 5.45. What the hell? How I took up reading, just waiting for one of my best friends. <laughs> uh, when will HBAR get to one USD? Well, that's a good question. Hopefully you're buying some. I Hopefully you got your big shopping cart and you're zipping through the, the cryptocurrency shopping mall and you're filling your basket. All right? That's how you got to think of it. Uh, yeah, it'll get to that point, but not until a uh, three, four years from now. I think it's 20 cents or something right now. I haven't looked at it for a while. Um, correction. That's two to three months from now. I think it's going to be going up in the... Uh, with everything going parabolic with, after the happening, which is next Friday. Okay? So, happening will happen. Things will, everybody will give me in anticipation. Waiting. <laughs> because it now has happened. And everybody's like, well, it didn't go up. I got to sell. And then, like usually a couple of weeks after, boom! <laughs> Every time that catches people, I don't know why it catches. They just have to look back at history. Okay, that it always does this. It's usually a couple of weeks or a month or two after the happening, and then it goes parabolic. And I think that's what they're setting up everybody. The, the powers that be are setting us up, making you shaking out all the people that aren't, they don't know the trick, right? They don't know that go around in the crypto shopping mall and fill your basket at this moment in time. But yeah, it will go to that one USD in about two to three months. Okay. Thank you for that. Uh, Will Bitcoin go up after the 20th of April or mid-May? Uh, yeah. <laughs> uh, 
I, I'm thinking you're saying the big explosion thing. Um, I'm picking up kind of. It won't be the big kaboom. It's going to be a little kaboom. A little bull run. And then it's going to do this. But it uh, kind of goes sideways. And then when it gets to that moment in time, usually a couple of weeks or a month or after, after the fact, and everybody's giving up on Bitcoin, then it'll go poof. So May, June, somewhere in there, we're going to go parabolic, maybe. Okay? Always happens. There you go. How's that? Still no video. Reloading. Reloading. Yeah, there I am. Yeah. We're back? Yeah, it looks that way. Yeah, we're back. The big money knows what we're talking about. They don't want you to go into the, you know, with your shopping cart to pick up the low prices so they shut us off that's what it is <laughs> uh Bella lab's gonna be just fine I th it's not gonna be a forever coin it's gonna be a short-term coin like many of the other cryptocurrencies that aren't bitcoin like coin ethereum all of them um so that's your wife yeah that that was my wife she's on the other end doing the work yeah, they've you seen her before. Jeez. She's just shy. I'm just she has the same abilities I have. She just doesn't like being in front of people. I'm just the crazy guy who doesn't mind being in front of a camera. That's all. Okay. Um but yeah, Vela Labs could be just fine for the next little while. And after the big bull run. I would sell it all and put in the big one. Okay, what else we got? Uh, will we see 2600 USDT for ETH this year? No video. Give it a minute. Yeah, still going? I think it's a melon thing. It's looking up. It stopped uploading to the, the video feed on the top of my screen. It's working out, though, right? Huh? It's working out now. It's working? Yeah. Okay. Ah, technology. It's fun. <laughs> Maybe he needs to refresh his page. Maybe you got to refresh. Maybe you got to get a uh, tinfoil hat on your head and touch the computer. Remember that? <laughs> uh, or put the uh, tinfoil on the rabbit ears. Remember those days? For your three channels on TV? Um, where was I? Oh, yeah. USDT. I think it's going to be doing very, very fine. There's going to be a couple stressful points for USDT for the next little while because of the big entities coming in to uh, the area. But I think it's going to be fine. Yeah, we all see that 2600 USDT for E this year. Uh, it's looking really good for that, uh, especially for the next year and a half. Okay. Hopefully that helps you out. When will Tether crash? They're expecting something for it. Well, Tether is not where you park your money for long periods of time. Okay. It's where you put the money when the when you took the lick off the ice cream. And you wait for the market to go, beep, and then you unfill that shopping cart and you put it back into the other cryptocurrencies. But 
are they going to get in trouble? Are they going to be rounded up by the the evil masters and all that crap? Gary and the boys. Uh, there's going to be some white hat activity around Tether. I think they're going to be just fine. There's going to be some other uh, products like Tether that are going to be knocking on the door of Tether. I know XRP has a new stable coin and all that sort of thing. I don't think they're going to be as good as Tether. Okay, I think Tether is here to stay. It's going to be around for a long, long period of time. It is going to be going through its problems, but I would not park my money there because it's based off of the U.S. dollar. Yay. <laughs> We're losing value by the second. It's only a little situation where you sold your Bitcoin, you put it in the tether, you wait for the Bitcoin to come down in price, and then you put it back into the Bitcoin. That's what it's for. It's not there to park your money. Okay, but yeah, they're going to be just fine. And we're getting phone calls. We got a del delivery? Yeah. Okay. But thank you, Nick. John Smith. Hi, Andre. Conflicts happening to affect crypto prices looking forward. Yeah. That's the way they make you scared. Ooh. They're spooking you out of the market. And that's going to be affecting the crypto and the stock market and the gold and the silver and all that sort of thing. So they can come with their shopping carts and pick up the cheap deals. See what they're doing? Hopefully, you're right behind them with your shopping cart. <clears throat> do, 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 do. Gonna get some gold, gonna get some silver, gonna get some Bitcoin. Hmm, nice price on Ethereum. That's how you gotta play. Okay? Yeah. <laughs> That's exactly. They're trying to spook you. Do I see ETH hit 1,000 or 100,000 pounds? That, that that's the uh, delivery. They knock and they run. <laughs> you, ever, you ever see an uh, Amazon guy down the hallway? Well, we live in an apartment. Uh, they'll they'll knock. They'll put the package down. And you go hi. And they, <laughs> they're gone. What do we got? Package. <laughs> A big, big package of goodies for, my VR. for the wife's big VR headset that I showed you Saturday. Thursday. Thursday. She loves that thing. She was beating or uh, having fun with kids on. So I'm working on the computer, and uh, I hear she's playing in the next room, and I hear the voice of kids through her thing and she's talking to them she's playing this game where you can play with other people and you just hear come on over here let's go ah, blah, 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 blah. what the hell is she doing how the kids get in the apartment uh getting back to days of chance sorry went off on a tangent I think, yeah, ETH will hit 100,000 pounds and all of that sort of thing. Uh, timing on that will probably be about a two to three year time in that period. Okay? I'm not sure. That's what, two and a half times Canadian or something. If you want to do the calculation. When will UST be pegged to Luna Classic? They're planning a massive burn when that happens. <sighs> Luna, Cla uh, Luna Classic, okay, it's my opinion. 
is they should get a shovel, dig a big hole, put the Luna Classic in the hole and cover it up. Uh, it's not coming back. It was a Ponzi scheme, which a lot of people fell for, unfortunately. That's why we stick with the Bitcoin, the Litecoin, the Ethereum, and the X, uh, even XRP, uh, Bitcoin Cash, that sort of thing. Anything else is eh, for short term. Okay. It's probably not going to be uh, the this whole scenario is probably not going to be happening anytime soon. They may hint at it to get the news moving that direction, um, but it's not going to do anything to the price of Luna Classic. It's going to take a lot of burning to get that price back up to where it used to be. Uh, we go see our buddy Kevin at the Bitcoin Bank, and you just mentioned the word Luna Classic. His his face looks like lemon. He just ate a lemon. So that's how me, me and the wife feel. So like, <laughs> uh, but yeah, Luna Classic. Just if you're still in that, get away from it. Hopefully that helps you out. What else we got? Will Bitcoin dip again in the next few weeks of stock up now? Yeah, stock up now. Don't wait. I keep telling you. When it goes to ape shit crazy, sorry from the French, you probably will not be able to get Bitcoin. <laughs> Keep the re- oh, there's lots of Bitcoin everywhere. No, there isn't. And once the happening happens, there's going to be less Bitcoin to buy. So when everybody runs to the door to get the Bitcoin, some people are going to be smacking their head on the side of the door because they can't get it all through the door at the same time. So when you get up to the wickets or whatever, the shopping thingamajig, there may not be any available. That'll bring the price. Come. Get your shop. Huh? Sold out. They'll, they'll have the sign sold out. That's already starting to happen. Okay. Stock up now. Not financial advice, of course. You do what you want to do, but it's always what happens. Okay. Thank you for that. Doge is dead. Help. Oh, it's only dead for a short period of time. Uh, Doge is... I think it's going to hold on and all that sort of thing. I I don't have a a lot of Doge. We just need Elon to wear a t-shirt or something and the price will pump up again. Um... Yeah, it's just a waiting game. Don't worry about it. I wouldn't have all my stuff in it. But what you got in there? You got some nice dirt cheap prices for Doge. I'm pretty sure it'll come back. Get that shopping cart ready. Okay? Thank you. When will Jasmine Coin go on a run? Probably with the rest of the cryptos. They're all going to get the t-shirts, you know, for the marathon. (laughs) During the bull run, which is probably summertime. Okay? Hopefully that helps you out. October seems to be the big crash month for 2024. Okay. Um, I think it's close to summertime for stock market and other crypto. Some of the other markets. Then cryptocurrencies will take off. 
before the stock market. Okay. Well, October being a surprise. Yeah, there's going to be a nice little surprise in October for the regular market. I think the cryptocurrency market is going to take a little bit of a dive. Probably something that they're planning to spook everybody. So that it'll be another instance when uh, you got to get your shopping card again. <laughs> Christmas time is going to be really, really good for cryptocurrency people. Okay. Hopefully that answers your question. They got to figure out something else to scare everybody. When will Axie Infinity and Sand get to their all-time highs? Probably with the rest of the market. Uh, summer is going to be fun. Okay. Yeah, summertime, <clears throat> next bull run, which is always approximately a couple of months after, up to a couple of months after the half. And then everything's going to way up, right? Hopefully that answers your question. <clears throat> what else we got? I, uh, I was watching uh, Jay Snip for he's saying that there's going to be a 20 cent USD XRP in the next little while. Uh, not one that I put a lot of money into myself uh, because of the people that they associate with. <laughs> uh but, yeah, it's going to be going down a little bit more than it's going to be spiking up with the rest of the market, probably in the summer, uh, summertime. Um, and then something's going to happen to it, and it's going to disappear. Okay? Hopefully that answers your question. A three-card reading for Duck City on base. Oh, boy. Must be a game or a crypto of some sort. Yeah. <clears throat> yeah. yeah. I just get the Bitcoin. <laughs> if in doubt, Buy the Bitcoin, okay? Many of these other cryptocurrencies I get, if it, if it is a cryptocurrency, I just don't have a really good feeling about this one. <laughs> buy Bitcoin, even some Litecoin. It's a good price. Stop monkeying around with these small little things, okay? Thank you for that. I just got that ugh, feeling. Will XRP go lower than... 30 cents next 10 days. Yes, I think we have a 20 cent in the next little while. Usually uh, that bouncing around and there's going to be something else that's going to be happening that's politically motivated for XRP. Okay? So hopefully you got your shopping cart ready. <clears throat> Thank you for that. You say ETH will fall in June, July. Is this for BTC2? A uh, little bit with Bitcoin, but not. they're not attached at the hip on this one. I think there's going to be something that's coming along that it's a programming thing and people get spooked. And I think it's they've already alluded to it. But don't get it fixed. It's just people will get spooked and sell their ETH uh, at a <clears throat> low price, okay, in that period of time. And then it'll shoot up like crazy. Not something to worry about. It's just something that if you keep your eye on it, you can get your shopping cart ready. 
what month of 2025 were we expecting Bitcoin peak? Well, you normally it's a year and a half. I think in this time it's going to be two years for the Bitcoin bull run. Okay. Uh, April of 2026. That's what I'm saying. Huh? 2026? Yeah, because it's always like two and a half years for the bull run or a year and a half. But I'm picking up that it's going to be a little longer than that. Uh, a golden spoon. Okay. Now, I wasn't born with a silver spoon. <laughs> um, Bitcoin spoon? Bitcoin spoon, maybe. But I wasn't born with that. I need you to pull three cards that Bitcoin will hit 25K within this year. Oh, you, you, you're wanting to, to go down. Okay. Well, it'll go down, but not to 25,000. <laughs> I know everybody wants that, right? If it does that do happen, it'll be for a very slim period of time. Okay. It's just like a sliver of time. Because BlackRock, if it ever went down that low, <laughs> it would be like a momentary moment in time. Because BlackRock's going to go, ah, thanks. <laughs> so, yeah. Uh, I don't see it going down that low. And if it does, you wouldn't be able to cash it. Okay? Because BlackRock Fidelity and all the... Boop. Thank you for your service. Would it be wise to sell all my crypto end of September? No. Flat no. Hell no. What other no can we do? Uh... Are you nuts? No. Maybe he's looking for the profits. Oh, profits. Well, profits, that's, you shouldn't sell any, all your cryptocurrencies. Keep a bit of your, keep, sell your profit in September, October. Yeah. In that period of time, there may be a nice time to lick your ice cream, as Jay Snip says. <clears throat> but never sell your entire position. <laughs> okay? Sit on it because it's going to be about a million. Uh, Bitcoin is going to be like a million dollars in 2032 for one coin. And everything else, else is going to be kind of following suit. Many of the smaller cryptocurrencies are going to disappear because there's no use for them. And it's going to be the big six. That big six is Bitcoin, Ethereum, Litecoin, uh, XRP, Bitcoin Cash, Chainlink. What's the sixth one? Seventh one? Something like that. Any of those major cryptocurrencies you hang on to, everything else is just, yeah. Okay. Hopefully that helps you out. Kronos tokens like VV Finance delete some zeros. <laughs> First thing I pick up, no, not for a while, not in the time you're thinking. Okay. Um, let's look at the general health of this thing. Not the chosen one. It's it is coming to an end of a cycle with its people. I think it's uh, going to be turning into pain <laughs> for Kronos. I think I've done a reading on Kronos like a couple years back. I'm not sure. 
Uh, it's not going to have the stability and all that sort of thing. I think it's going to be one of these cryptocurrencies that boop, goes out the window. Okay? Many of the smaller cryptocurrencies are going to disappear. Okay? That's what I'm picking up with this one. Any prediction for Scotty A? Scotty AI? Scotty AI. Oh, that thing. <laughs> I've heard of it. It's supposed to be a, a thing. Ah. Scotty AI. I have a, I think I just watched a video on it not that long ago. I think it's going to do okay. The, 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 uh, Lots of partnerships and all that sort of thing happening with it. And there's going to be some pretty good price uh, for the next little while for for it. Um, I think people are sitting on the sidelines watching this one. They're not sure about it. Okay. There's going to be, for the next little while, people are going to go kind of offish. And then at the last minute, they're going to jump in. Okay. So, yeah. I think it's going to do okay in the next little while. What else we got? Bit sensor. Who? Bit sensor. Bit sense? Not coming up on the screen. It's bitten sore. So, um, never heard of this one. Of course, there's a ton of cryptocurrencies coming out all the time. It's most of them are garbage. Just to let you, uh, just to. A blanket statement on how many of these new cryptocurrencies that are going to come out. They're garbage. <clears throat> but they're okay for the short period of time when we're going through a bull run. Everything looks exciting and new. And they, they make the claim that they're going to be better than Bitcoin. Blah, 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 blah. Like they do every bull run. And then they disappear. It's Warren Buffett. When the tide is in, meaning the bull run, everybody looks the same. It all looks good. When the tide goes out, meaning the, the end of the bull run, you're going to see who has their swim trunks on. <laughs> Think of it. it gives you a, a weird picture in your mind. But he's absolutely correct. During a bull run, which we're going to be going through in a very short period of time, everything is going to look good. All right? It's after the bull run, after the water recedes, and you're going to see who's what. Oh, <laughs> yeah. For the bull run, it's okay, but just, just, just buy Bitcoin. Much, much better. Even some Litecoin. Maybe some Ethereum. Many of these things I did, I, you do not waste your money on. Okay? Unless you're a day trader and you know what you're doing, just get the Bitcoin. The cards aren't too favorable to it. Okay? Thank you. Oh, five pounds. Um, hello there. How do you think these revenge or retaliating attacks will affect crypt crap <laughs> over the next few weeks? It'll, again, it's a scare tactic. And cryptocurrency and everything else is going to go, because people are silly that way. Okay. Oh, they're they're flying things through the air and hitting other things. Oh, that's when you get your shopping cart. Yeah, yeah, 
you load up your car. When everybody's crying, you're buying. And that's that's my new saying. <laughs> okay. Uh, it's going to make things for sale for two to three weeks. Okay. Uh, make sure you load up and put it in your pantry. And you just sit on it. Okay. That, that's the key to that success. When everybody's crying, it's when you're buying. Okay? Thank you for that. Will all taxes that people are supposed to pay on crypto go away? <laughs> uh, <clears throat> they'll have to amend because from country to country and country. Um, they're going to have to figure out how to get the taxes from people, like from me and the wife. They don't know how much we have because <laughs> our our wallets aren't green lit. <clears throat> green lit is you haven't registered it with somebody. Okay. Uh, if you've agreed let it, you still got to pay the taxes, whatever country that you are in. Many tax consultants will not touch crypto taxes. There's another problem. Um, it's different all over the place. If you want to pay the taxes on it, sure. But I think those things are going to be changing over time. They're going to have to uh, make something much, much better. Purchasing tax would probably be the best way <clears throat> when it does happen um, for everybody. So when you go out to the store, you buy something, then you pay the taxes as you normally do, and that's how they'll get the taxes from you. Taxes are, are theft. Just, just going to lay it out there. Uh, it will not go away. Because governments need to keep control of people, and they're at they're they're losing that fight very quickly, especially when it comes to cryptocurrencies. Okay, thank you for that. <clears throat> what about Shiba Inu? Will it reach ninety cents? Yes. Just not anytime soon. <laughs> I think we're going to be getting to that penny in about four or five years period, period of time. It has a long way to go. Okay? 90 cents is we're probably looking at another couple of years down the road. But yes, it will get to that 90 cents. Just not till 2045, maybe. It has a long way to go. Great cryptocurrency. It's one of the better of the meme coins that's out there. Um, but it's going to take some time. They, somebody left the coin making button on too long for that one. And they made way too many coins. Okay. So hopefully that helps you out. Some psychics say you need to buy XRP before mid-2025, as then it will be in big demand. Yeah. Uh, for a while. Because it's going to be part of the CBDC system, which they're trying to roll out. The whole scenario is... Oh, the banking crisis. The markets are crashing. Oh, we need to put you in this new uh, currency. It's CBDC. And those will be riding on top of the XRP blockchain. We already know this. Um, we don't even need three cards for that. Something is going to happen and nobody's going to want to have the CBDCs and then Political changes, okay, going to happen, and that's going to be something that goes away. Okay, we've already discussed this many times over. 
it's going to have a short spurt and then it's going to because of the people that it's associated with. Roll that economic forearm, right? All the people that want to enslave us are part of the XRP family. This is why I don't like it. Okay. So it's going to have a nice shoot up and then it's going to collapse under its own bullshit. Okay. Hopefully that helps you out. Hi there. Can you do a reading for my portfolio? Will it cross a hundred thousand? Do you have one Bitcoin? Do you have two? Uh, there's going to be some things that you're going to have to readjust. Hopefully you got some uh, Bitcoin, some Litecoin, and some Ethereum in there. But I'm seeing not for quite some time um, until you get that sorted out. There's going to be some deep, dark secrets that you need to get through. And you got to have to be honest with yourself on how you're going to be conducting yourself on your portfolio. Okay? Get out of all the chintzy little coins. Get into the bigger ones and you're going to be just fine. Okay? And it's going to be taking about three years until that happens. Okay? Thank you. Oh, boy. Uh, will Theta run to $6 in the next one to two months? No. I love Theta. It's great, but I don't think it's going to be getting to that point in that period of time. It has uh, probably three to four months after that period of time. Okay? It's, it's still great. Don't sell. Don't panic sell. It's fine. Keep on. Keep on. Okay? Thank you for that. Do you think Velo will go lower like below? One cent. Canadian. Ooh, you're a Canadian. Okay. I have a Canadian on here? Wow. It's usually people from way off into nowhere land. Well, compared to me. Um, yeah, interesting charts they have for this one. Uh, people are going to go away long way they're going to be you know your fellow and we're going to go this way what's that meme guy doing this you ever seen that he has the orange jacket yeah. that's this is a picture i got <laughs> and you put it into something else he's like right um i think it's going to go lower than one cent very very soon uh, and I think people are going to be walking away from it for whatever reason. Maybe something happens. And, um, it may be one of these cryptocurrency projects that people just run away from. Maybe it's a good indicator to sell on that one and get something else. Not financial advice, of course. Okay, thank you for that. A lot of questions today. Making up for yesterday. Yeah. But it was just Batman. <laughs> uh, three cards for Barrow Finance. Still in ICO. Mm. These are okay if you know how to play. You buy it in pre release. They can do okay. What you do, as soon as it hits the cryptocurrency exchange, it'll go pop. And then you sell. And you make all your money. Maybe leave a little bit of your initial money in there and let it ride. But yeah, it always does this. And then drops. I've, we know one guy who just does that all the time and he makes millions from it. 
Oh, boy. <laughs> Smoke and mirrors. We got the magician. We got the ten of. Oh, he's a comfortable guy lying on the beach. Um, if you're if you do have this one, as soon as it hits the market, the second after it hits the market, you sell. What good? Because I don't think it's going to do much after that. Okay, I keep saying that there's going to be a lot of junk coming down the river uh, with the bull run. And this is one of those. Okay. Thank you for that. Can Scotty AI hit $10? Hmm. Yeah, but it's not in the time period that you're thinking. If you're thinking it's right away, no. It's going to be a little longer than what you had thought, maybe four or five months out from where you're thinking. Um, and don't get discouraged, okay? I think it, it's, it's just, that's the whole thing with the cryptocurrency market. It takes time. We've been sitting for 10 years. They made a lot of money from it. But it's patience. That's the one thing that people have to learn and understand. Don't do you know, knee-jerk reactions everywhere. <laughs> just, just buy it, set on it, buy some Bitcoin, and you're going to be fine. But, yeah, it's going to get to that $10 way down the line. Okay? X -X, is XLM a better coin than XRP? Are they both from those ones? Yes, they are. Okay. <laughs> uh, those ones. Those guys. those guys. Yeah, it just leaves them. That's why I got out of the, the, the financial markets. And there's a whole bunch of legal stuff that happened when I was a financial advisor. <clears throat> Not thinking that I did is something one of the other agents did. For in the regular stock market, the re regular mutual funds and all that sort of thing, market for you to get rich, you got to point right at the camera. Somebody else has to suffer. That's how the stock market works, right? Or any investment. This is why we have wars. So the portfolio that you have can make money because war is only about. Going to other places to make money through force by stealing their stuff. And it left a bad taste in my mouth. And that's one of the reasons that I left. For you to make money in the stock market, somebody else has to suffer. That's that's the that's the truth of it. With cryptocurrencies, you can get rich. And nobody else has to suffer. Okay, that's the that's the big draw for me into cryptocurrencies that somebody else doesn't have to suffer for me to gain wealth. Think of it that way. Okay, this is why they have wars. They're expecting XRP to go to zero sometime in the future for a period of time and then go up. Yeah, that is a true statement. Many of the other psychics have been saying that. Um, it go up and then and then something's going to change and all that sort of thing because they're going to try the CBDC thing and it's going to be falling flat on its face and then they're going to be turning that around and making something better from it and then it'll start to slowly creep up they'll disassociate from those people okay thank you for that question last question last question <laughs> do i see ptc dropping to fifty thousand in may uh, um, 
Sony something? No. If it does, it's going to be for a very short period of time. And then... BlackRock's going to... Yeah, they're, they're going to have a bigger shopping cart than you, and they're going to fill it up. And so if the price will go. Whoop, whoop. Don't fall prey to that. That, that. I think that's the theme for today. Get a big shopping cart, go shopping, find those deals. Don't sell your positions. <laughs> Never sell at a loss. Okay. That That's the big takeaways for today's show. Thank you, everybody, for coming. Uh, if you like a personal reading with me, maybe you should go to sacredreadingsbyandre.com where all that information is there. If you like a personal healing with my Reiki master wife, uh, that information is there as well. Uh, if you'd like to protect your cryptocurrencies in the best possible way, we have, we have the Treasure Cold Storage Wallet for sale on our affiliates page. If you should happen to purchase anything from our affiliates page know that we make a little bit of money from that purchase if you see anything else out there it's claiming to be me always check with the website even email me uh there's some shenanigans out there always check with the website first if it's not on our website it's not us okay with that said make sure you like subscribe and i'll see you in the future bye bye